Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel. So, Red versus Blue. We are making our way through the last couple of bits of videos before we jump into the hype, the action, the excitement that is Red versus Blue Season 10. You guys have been hyping this shit up for me for quite a while. This is long overdue for Red versus Blue for me. Obviously, Season 10, the second half of Project Freelancer, the kind of wrap-up conclusion of that story with the freelancers, the AI, the director, the project, everything else in between. Uh, RVB videos have been slowly but surely getting their sea legs back ever since my return from my hiatus. Uh, I've done the reactions for the MIA miniseries as well as Where There's a Will, There's a Wall. In the last Red vs. Blue video that I posted, I did my reaction to the Season 8 and 9 soundtrack reactions, which was really fun to kind of listen to the music that really got Jeff, Casey, Lamar, Alex all on board with Rooster Teeth all the way back then. A lot of you guys enjoyed that too, and I'll probably do that as well for red versus blue season 10 for that soundtrack once i finish watching it uh, i'm sitting down to record this video because this has been a highly anticipated or highly requested video i should say zach petty i see you in the chat of all my rvb R rvb videos uh don't think your words go unnoticed as well as for the many people who thumbs it up um this is something that i've kind of known about i didn't know if i was actually going to do it now i was planning on doing it a while back before i went on my hiatus george has also briefly mentioned me on it um but we're going to be checking it out today and there will be one more Red vs. Blue video coming next week on YouTube. If you guys are watching this right now on YouTube, then it's available on Early Access for Patreon. And then the following week, we'll be jumping into, I think, the first batch of either six or seven. I haven't, I have to go back and count how many batches, but there are a lot of batches to get through for the for the reactions of Red vs. Blue Season 10. Like I said, highly anticipated. Um, myself included, I'm looking forward to seeing the second half of Project Freelancer. Y'all have been hyping this shit to the moon for me, um, as it being, you know, like the last work that I will see of Monty Ohms, kind of like the pinnacle of, of Rooster Teeth's work in terms of Red versus Blue with, with action and storytelling and lore and all that stuff. So I'm excited to get through all of this, but for this video in particular, this is interesting. Caboose visits the Halo Reach campaign. So, um, really quick back lore for those of you who don't know, but, um, I dabbled a bit in Halo in my day. Um, back when I was in high school, I had nothing else going for me. I would literally go to school for eight hours a day, come home, do homework, and then play Xbox from the time I got home to the time I went to bed. Halo 3 was my first Halo game, right? I never played Halo 1. I never played Halo 2. Um, I, I dabbled a little bit in Halo 1 a couple years ago. I never finished the game and I don't remember it at all, and I kind of want to get into the Halo games before Halo Infinite comes out next year. But anyways, never played Halo 1 at the time, never played Halo 2. Halo 3 was my first Halo game. I actually never played an original Xbox. And Halo 3 was my first introduction into the Halo franchise, the Halo series. Uh, I know for many of you guys, it's synonymous with Red vs. Blue. It's actually another reason why I never watched RVB back in the day, because I wasn't into Halo, so Red vs. Blue, I thought it was just another Halo thing. Um, I played Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo ODST, and Halo 4 in the order that they came out. So 3, ODST, Reach, and 4. Um, I never followed the story because, like I said, I missed the first two. And then I found out that there were novels. So I was like, I don't even understand the story from where I picked up on it. But my favorite Halo game is actually Halo Reach. Um, for two main reasons. Number one, it's a self-contained story and it's a prequel story. So it takes place before Halo 2, before Halo 1. So it's 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 the it's the nexus for the story um for what eventually starts and unfolds with the fall of Reach and then Master Chief's journey and everything else like that. And it's 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 something that I, I carry quite fondly because I never really played Halo because of the campaign or for the story. I played it for the multiplayer, I played it for the co-op experience with me and my friends, and I played it for custom games. Those are the only three reasons I played Halo um, across all of the ones that I played. And Halo Reach stuck out to me the most because like I said, it was a self-contained story. It was a story that you didn't need to know any of the other games to kind of follow and understand. And um, I loved it. I, I, I remember playing that game quite fondly. I did the achievement. I think it's like Sins of the Father. You have to play you have to do all of the campaign um, chapters by yourself on the hardest difficulty, which was legendary. That shit took me like a whole entire month consistently of playing and dying constantly to those red fucking zealots. I'll never forget that for as long as I live. But anyways, um, Halo Reach is my favorite Halo game. So with this being a, a kind of red versus blue meets Halo Reach, I thought that was kind of like a cool way for me to actually immerse myself and enjoy it beyond 
you know, it just being a red versus blue video. So I have not seen Halo Reach since I beat the game. I haven't actually played Halo Reach since I beat it originally when it came out on the 360. Um, and I remember I was in like the beta for it and everything. But anyways, um, a, a bunch of you guys have, uh, have basically suggested or recommended that I check out this video. A lot of people have suggested this video. So I'm kind of calling, you know, I'm basically, I'm answering the call for most of you guys, kind of giving you guys some more RVB content. I'm actually going to be reacting to two things here. So the main thing that you guys wanted me to check out was Caboose Visits the Halo Reach campaign. And that's the core one. That's the first one that I'm going to check out. But I tagged a little something at the end, which was called Red versus Blue in Halo Reach Firefight. So I think it's kind of basically like the crew of, of Red versus Blue, um, basically kind of giving commentary while fighting a bunch of Covenant and a bunch of, you know, basically all the enemies in Halo Reach as like a little added bit of content for the past. And I just decided to tag that along because it kind of followed the trope of Red versus Blue meets Reach. But anyways, um, thank you guys again so much for your support. Thank you guys for the request. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's a little kind of taste test, not taste test, but a, a little extra content to kind of throw your way before we jump into season 10. Like I said, there's one more video coming next week. There's a video that should be up uh, later on this evening on Patreon for those of you who are Patreon early access members uh, for a little extra thing that you guys get a week early. And uh, Red vs. Blue season 10 is well underway. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for the support. And without further ado... Let's check out some Halo Reach. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, this is a two-part reaction to both Caboose visiting the Halo Reach campaign as well as Red vs. Blue in the Halo Reach firefight. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, be sure to, as always, leave your thoughts in the comments. And we're going to be starting this in three, two, one, now. I expect a lot of comedies from Caboose's perspective. Oh, my God. That's music. Do, do, yo, blood girl type. What I did on my summer vacation. God, what a throwback. Man, I am so excited hey! Season 9, Sarge. Season 9? Season like 9 was hype. This year, man. We're just, you know, had to stand around and talk like we usually do. Yeah, that's why Season 9 was only half good. Oh. Out for that falling rock, by the way. Yeah. Falling. <laughs> yeah, I know. Falling it. rock? You mean caboose? I the action sometimes. Uh, hey. Fall out of the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. What action do you miss? All we ever did was get our ass kicked by Tex. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean that's that's action oh, for me, the viewer. Did I beat during the break? During the off season? The what off were season. You doing? Uh, oh, what he did last summer. Days. Yeah, I love how they're having like their own like interaction about. I was late. What the heck? Hey, what the heck is that supposed to be, Caboose? Oh my God, oh, no. noble sex! Oh, cat, she wait, got wait, it the worst, man. Did you go into the campaign? Yep, I don't know what that means, <laughs> so I'm just going to nod and say yes. Wow. Yes. Who told you you could do that? Uh, what the heck? The car, he just kept asking me, are you six? You are six, right? <laughs> and I'm way older than six. Oh, okay, no. like noble yes. six. Come on, Caboose. That's not Noble six, yeah, yeah he did seem <laughs> this is so nostalgic. Oh my god, I haven't played Reach in hey, years. Me and my new friends went on lots of adventures together. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, I can't wait to play this again. Because they stepped in gum, I do that all the time. I think this is the yeah, first mission. Stuff on fire, <laughs> stuff stuff that was birds. Oh my, oh, the, the like those emu looking things. What? Wow, Emil's such a badass. Let's go. Got a it. Fucking badass. I Did love Emil. On a roller coaster that was super fun and really <laughs> yeah, okay. Fun. Because it was a spaceship. Bleep <laughs> sound effects. Oh god. This is kind of creative that they did this. Cause it looks like it could be Caboose's armor in that. Don't touch any buttons. Oh. I mean it. Don't touch it. No! No, you killed him! Come on, giant friend! Come back soon! <laughs> you team killing fucktard! Oh, I think that's Halsey. You won't let go. Say the words, please. The words, please. And then I met some other guys that were totally impressed. Yeah, that was super hard. Oh my god. Jumped over a sand dune. Oh, uh, his ODST dangerous. troops. And how did I all my fingers? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding, fucking loser. Oh dee, my dee, god, Caboose. Dee, 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 dee
Oh, Caboose, I love you so much. I have so many nostalgia moments right now. And when my mission was all done, they politely <laughs> dropped me back off at home because they are my new best friend. Yeah, okay. All right, time for you to leave. See ya! Goodbye. Oh, and that's how we that fell down! You are my new best friend, and I will never forget you! <laughs> yeah, okay. And that's gonna blow up, right? Oh god, Caboose, stop! And then, and then I back here, home yep. with my real best friend. Caboose, that was a crazy story, dude. Yeah. That was no pretty idea. cool. No, you have no idea. Right. Nobody has any idea. No, sir. <laughs> you specifically have no idea. I have no idea. Oh my god. Yo, that was so cool. How they kind of like gave him commentaries. Because it, it looks just like his armor. Yo, shout out. Yo, that's such a great episode with the twins. God, that's so hype. Okay. This is the second one that I added on the end because it's it's red versus blue and it's reach. I don't know what to expect. Also, that first bit was mad funny. <laughs> Say the words, please. <laughs> the words, please. <laughs> Drafted. You know, Caboose, people hey. are constantly writing us email here. Yo, Sergeant Caboose hey, yeah, again. I, I got one today. What, oh. What did, what did it say again? One of the most common emails Oh, they've been drafted into the firefight. Blue character voices in firefight. Right. Yeah. Firefight. That was an email. Well, we don't have any control <laughs> over the voices in Firefight. No, but the so you're gonna add your own voices. Thing. Well, there's really no way to change that, unless you know they just send us into Firefight or something crazy like that. Oh, uh, this oh, is what I just remember. Oh email, my man. God! Covenant forces inbound. <laughs> this zone. Oh my God! I remember Firefight. Hey, church! Right, let's go you can't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. The <laughs> Oh, oh, I love this. Hey, oh Damn my it. god, you're so bad with the sniper, sniper, dude. Kill. I use a sniper rifle. That still counts. <laughs> Where are you? Come on, there. Come here. Oh my god. Oh, nice. Oh Good my shit. God, did you see that? I stuck him. Fuck I'm yeah. Awesome. I'm so what proud of you, church. All oh, the Jeez. ornaments. Oh, wow. oh my god, I remember this. Wow. Yo. You're going to kill you in there. Sniper rifle. All right, you didn't get the oh, sniper come on, kills. Come on. Now? Oh! Yo, he just got a kill. Uh, someone really needs to improve the range of this weapon. Really, take Sarge? That. Take that. <laughs> Closer and take that. Oh All my right, god. There we go. Close range. He loves the this shotgun a little. Yo, this is so cool. Oh, this is such a great idea. They should do this in all the Halo games, like Halo 5. And I really hope that, um... All the, the armor lock ability. Nice. What? Dark O'Malley! Oh my god, that's so cool. The plasma rifle reference from Season 8. Whoa! O'Malley! That was Not close. Very nice. Shut up. It's the appropriate amount of nice. Man, uh, Oblivion is at Man, hand. <laughs> the rocket launcher, his hey, favorite Oblivion. weapon. Yes. Overkill. Oh, I Overkill. love this. I love together? this so, so much. much Quiet witness. <laughs> yes, line up, you. <laughs> Welcome to your day. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! Kill the tech killer. Good Great stuff. Oh gun! Hey! Oh, oh my God! The freaking warthog music! Dude, this is so nostalgic, both for Reach and for Red versus Blue. <laughs> Griffin's driving. When your grunts were so scary, when there's so many of them. Ah! Suck it! Take that! Oh, come on, Simmons! Oh! Oh! He's gonna assassinate him! Bring the tree down! Nice. Start to be proud. Hell yeah, I'm deep, proud of you. Deep. I have a take. Deep, 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 deep. I have a take. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> don't kill Church, Sorry, please. Whatever you fucking do, do not kill way. Church. Hey, God. Right. Oh, no. oh. Sorry. Sorry. Here, Jesus. Gets one. <laughs> hey, those are good grenade throws, unlike season stop, six. Stop with the spike grenade. That was awful. Oh, oh, how about you guys? You want free grenades too? Don't worry, they're free. Yeah, 
Oh! You can have the last one. Good oh, shit. No, oh, no, you're no. dead. Ow. <laughs> that was really dope. Yo, that's that's the type. Like, yo, that's really great content. I really hope that they do stuff like that in future. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to just be the new game comes out. We're gonna use the new game to 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 issue out a new season. But like that shit was so cool. Like, and that's coming from me, a person who's only really experienced Halo Reach from the campaign side of it. Like playing, obviously, I played with my friends and stuff. But like having like someone shooting the sniper being church having someone on the ghost as doc like that's so cool and then there's a lot of references like simmons and simmons and griff on the warthog god that was so awesome that was i'm glad i added that second one that second one was like so freaking cool and it's like they're, they're literally all in the firefight all contributing you have sarge with the shotgun oh that was great that was awesome um the first one was pretty cool too like seeing um seeing caboose in the halo reach campaign i know it was very limiting because you can only really do it whenever noble six was in the shot but still it's kind of like that could literally be caboose like in the future like for his armor at the very least but my god that was pretty cool that was an awesome reaction batch i really liked that zach petty all of you guys thank you for suggesting this to me um, the second half, I think, was a bit more nostalgic because there's a lot of references to RVB, like the characters in their specific environments using specific weapons that are that are catered to their characters and their personalities. And then on top of that, like just giving me a, like a nostalgia rush from when I played Halo Reach back on the 360. Um, I really want to be able to do like I really want to stream and upload all of my like my playthroughs of all the halo games up until when halo infinite comes out because it comes out next year and it's going to be on a launch game with the next xbox next year and i want to pick that up um so like if you guys would love for me to do that if you guys want me to kind of um do like a, a full playthrough session with viewers on on my twitch channel i tried doing it a couple years ago but it didn't pan out for me at least for my schedule at the time um, but like Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Reach, and ODST full playthroughs with viewers on the hardest difficulty um, leading up to the release of, of Halo Infinite, I would absolutely be down with doing that. Um, and it'd be like kind of like going down memory lane. I know there's a Halo, I know there's a Red versus Blue reference in Halo 3, and I didn't know it was a Red versus Blue reference. I remember it's on the Rat, uh, I think it's on the Rat's Nest mission. Um, and I didn't even know it was a reference to RVB because I wasn't watching it at the time. But uh, I'd love to be able to do that as well. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section. Anything you guys have to mention or offer. Uh, like I said, in the next video, the next video coming up will be the last video that I post uh, regarding RVB before we jump into the reactions for Season 10. So I know you guys are very eager for that. I hope you guys look forward to it. But with all that said, um, thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care.